It's poetic that a number of red foods are particularly beneficial for blood and heart health. After all, red is associated with passion, love, and vitality. And now we know that consuming certain red foods can keep the heart healthy and blood flowing optimally. Red fruits and vegetables get their color from anthocyanins, antioxidants that have potent protective properties. So today, let's explore nine amazing red foods for heart health. But before we dig in, can you do us a favor? Click on the thumbs up and help us spread the word about heart disease prevention and ring the bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. We want to make sure you get the latest info so you can live a long, healthy life. And stick around to find out how to get two heart-healthy free gifts. We guarantee both you and your heart will love them. Number 9. Cranberries Cranberries are packed with antioxidants that help protect our cells from damage caused by free radicals. Free radicals are unstable molecules that can cause all sorts of problems, including inflammation and oxidative stress, which lead to cancer, Alzheimer's disease, heart disease, and many other destructive health problems. Inflammation is a major contributor to heart disease, so anything we can do to reduce it is beneficial for our cardiovascular health. In addition to their antioxidant content, Cranberries contain several other compounds that have been shown to promote heart health. They're a good source of proanthocyanidins, or PACs, which prevent plaque buildup in the arteries, a condition known as atherosclerosis. They have also been shown to prevent oxidation of LDL cholesterol, reduce blood pressure, decrease arterial stiffness, and protect against urinary tract infections. One German study found that eating 100 grams of cranberries per day was associated with significantly improved heart and blood vessel function. Researchers noted that two hours after consuming cranberries, they observed significant improvements in flow-mediated dilation. After one month of cranberry consumption, participants showed ongoing improvement. The study's co-author, Dr. Christian Heiss, concluded that these findings provide solid evidence that cranberries can significantly affect vascular health. Number 8. Cayenne Pepper Cayenne pepper contains a number of important vitamins including vitamin C, provitamin A, vitamin B6, and vitamin K, which are all important for heart health. It also contains the active compound capsaicin, which is known to relax blood vessels. While other compounds in cayenne pepper have been shown to improve blood circulation, reduce blood pressure, aid weight loss, and repair damaged cells. Cayenne pepper is a potent food, in terms of taste as well as health benefits, so a small sprinkle is all you need, on your favorite meals or in curries, stir fries, and stews. Number 7. Pomegranate Pomegranates have long been heralded for their health benefits, particularly when it comes to heart health. Pomegranate juice contains high levels of antioxidants, which help to reduce inflammation and protect against cell damage. Furthermore, the tannins and anthocyanins in pomegranate have been shown to reverse plaque buildup in the arteries and to prevent oxidation of LDL cholesterol. A famous clinical trial was carried out in 2008 and later published in the Journal of Clinical Nutrition. In the three-year trial, people already suffering from heart diseases were instructed to drink pomegranate juice each day, while the control group did not. After just one month, the group drinking pomegranate juice showed a significant reduction in oxidative stress, and after one year, their intermediate thickness had reduced by up to 30%, while the control group went the opposite way and increased. The intermedia is inside the artery, where plaque builds up and causes heart attack. So a reduction of 30% is an enormous improvement in terms of reducing cardiovascular disease and heart attack. In the group who drank pomegranate juice, researchers also noted a significant decrease in LDL oxidation, which likely explains the reduction in artery wall thickness. Systolic blood pressure was also reduced by a whopping 21%. 
Other studies have shown that pomegranates reduce inflammation, slowed cancer cell growth, reduced the formation of kidney stones, improved markers of Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease, and increased beneficial gut bacteria. So, if you're looking for a way to boost your health, add pomegranate to your diet. You can enjoy them fresh or juiced. Number 6. Tomato When it comes to heart health, organic tomatoes are a standout food. They're low in calories and sodium, and high in fiber and antioxidants, all of which are key factors in maintaining a healthy heart. Tomatoes are also an excellent source of lycopene, a powerful antioxidant that protects against cholesterol oxidization and plaque buildup in the arteries. Studies have shown that people who eat lycopene-rich foods, such as tomatoes, have a lower risk of developing heart disease. Tomatoes are also a good source of potassium, which is important for maintaining healthy blood pressure. Potassium helps to counteract the effects of sodium on blood pressure, making it an essential nutrient for people with hypertension. In addition to vitamins and minerals, tomatoes contain phytochemicals that offer additional protection against heart disease. One such phytochemical is alpha-tomatine, which has been shown to protect against cardiovascular disease and various types of cancer. Tomatoes also contain lutein and zeaxanthin, two nutrients that keep the eyes healthy and may reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. They do this by protecting the arteries against damage caused by inflammation. And here's a tip. It's a good idea to include cooked tomatoes in your diet, as lycopene isn't particularly bioavailable in raw tomatoes, so you need to cook tomatoes to allow the body to absorb the lycopene. One last thing to note, tomatoes are on the dirty dozen list, a list of the most pesticide contaminated fruits and vegetables. For this reason, it's well worth buying organic tomatoes, so you're not filling your system with chemicals that may damage your health. Number five, raspberries and strawberries. Berries in general are fantastic for heart health, and raspberries and strawberries stand out in particular. Red berries tend to be excellent sources of flavonoids, which have been proven to lower blood pressure. Raspberries are surprisingly low in sugar with only 5 grams per cup, while both are rich in vitamin C, which is vital for heart and artery health. Two-time Nobel Prize winner Linus Pauling was the first to make the connection between vitamin C and heart health. Recognizing that vitamin C is vital to protecting blood vessels from rupture, Today, cardiologists promote vitamin C as one of the most important aspects of protecting against heart disease, and berries are a great way to make sure you're getting enough. But raspberries and strawberries offer a whole lot more than vitamin C. These bright beauties also contain important antioxidants such as pelargonidin, elagic acid, procyanidins, camphorol, and quercetin which support heart health by decreasing cholesterol oxidization, reducing inflammation, and improving blood lipid profiles. One study published by the American College of Nutrition showed that eating strawberries daily reduced oxidation markers by 38% over 30 days. And a 2008 study found that the ellagic acid in raspberries reduced DNA damage, while quercetin and camphorol have been shown to activate signaling pathways associated with improved glucose control. Now, we're not saying you need to eat strawberries every day, but berries can contribute to a well-rounded whole food diet that ticks all the boxes and keeps your ticker happy. Have you ever noticed that many superfoods are shaped like organs? The walnut is shaped like a brain, broccoli is shaped like lungs. Well, Next, we'll reveal another organ-shaped superfood that you may not know about. But first, Heart Disease Code would love to give you a free book, The Surprising Truth About Fat and Cholesterol, plus the first episode of The Untold Story of Heart Disease, something that everyone concerned about heart health should watch. Click the link in the description below to claim these free gifts. Okay, let's get back to the list. Number 4. Kidney beans. Kidney beans are great for controlling blood sugar. They are a good source of vitamins, minerals, fiber, antioxidants, and other beneficial compounds. 
Kidney beans are an excellent source of protein and have been shown to be beneficial for heart health. A diet that includes kidney beans can help to lower triglyceride levels as well as blood pressure. They are a low GI carbohydrate, meaning that they are less likely to spike blood sugar, while being a filling and nutritious food. A 2013 study published in the Journal of Medicinal Food describes kidney beans as a functional food rich in micronutrients and bioactive compounds associated with low rates of heart disease. They found that kidney beans offer benefits for weight management, hyperinsulinemia, hyperlipidemia, inflammation, and oxidative stress, all of which are major cardiovascular risk factors. Number three, red wine. It's well known that drinking red wine in moderation can be good for your heart. But what exactly are the benefits? And how much should you drink to reap the rewards? Let's take a closer look. We all know that too much alcohol is bad for our health. But studies have shown that people who drink moderate amounts of red wine, one glass per day for women and two glasses per day for men, can reduce the risk of developing cardiovascular disease. Grapes have been shown to improve blood lipid levels and reduce inflammation, both of which are risk factors for heart disease. That's because they contain polyphenol compounds, resveratrol, phenolic acids, and flavonoids. Resveratrol, for example, has been shown to have anti-inflammatory, anti-carcinogenic, and anti-aging properties, which is why it's used in medications prescribed for several health conditions. This unique compound has been shown to protect the lining within blood vessels. Fermented grapes maintain their beneficial polyphenol compounds, so a regular glass of red wine can help the heart. Just don't overdo it. Number two, beetroot. Beetroot, also known as beets, is a potent heart-healthy food. Beetroot is high in nitrates, which the body converts into nitric oxide. Nitric oxide helps to relax and widen blood vessels, which lowers blood pressure and improves circulation. All of these effects reduce the risk of heart disease. Beetroot is also a good source of other nutrients that are important for heart health, including fiber, which helps maintain healthy digestion, folate, which supports healthy cell and tissue growth, vitamin C, which helps to boost the immune system and keep arteries healthy, and magnesium, which plays a role in heart and muscle health. Beetroot is rich in copper, a mineral that many people don't get enough of. Studies have shown that increased copper consumption led to reduced ischemic heart disease, fatty liver disease, and heart failure. In one study, people who drank 140 milliliters of beetroot juice daily had significantly improved function of endothelium, the cells that keep blood vessels functioning properly. Furthermore, beets are believed to have an anti-inflammatory effect on the body due to a compound they contain called betalanes, phytonutrients that offer antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and detoxification support. Including a little raw beetroot in your diet is a good idea. Research published in the Journal of Human Hypertension found that raw beetroot had a greater benefit for hypertension than cooked beetroot. Although cooked beetroot still showed significant improvements, beets can be roasted, pickled, eaten raw, or juiced. Number one, cherries. Cherries are often hailed as a superfood due to their many health benefits. One of these benefits is that cherries can help prevent heart disease. Here's how. The antioxidants in cherries reduce inflammation and oxidative stress, both of which are major contributors to heart disease. Cherries are exceptionally high in polyphenols, a plant chemical that combats cellular damage and reduces inflammation. Studies have shown that these polyphenols protect against cardiovascular disease, diabetes, some cancers, and cognitive degeneration. What's more, cherries are one of the few foods that contain melatonin. Melatonin helps to regulate our sleep and wake cycles. Sleep and stress are vital factors for reducing blood pressure. And studies have shown that sleep quality makes for a big difference in heart and overall health outcomes. Furthermore, 
Studies on arthritis suggest cherries can help to relieve inflammation associated with arthritis. And studies indicate consuming tart cherries may reduce the risk of stroke. They are rich in vitamin C and beta carotene, which are both vital for heart health. One of the functions of beta carotene is that it's a precursor for vitamin A. Many people take supplements for their vitamin A, but eating cherries are so much better for the body. When we eat the precursor food, our body decides how much to convert to vitamin A, rather than flooding our body with synthetic vitamin A from supplements. Cherries are rich in potassium, which regulates blood pressure and reduces the risk of heart disease and stroke. A plethora of research shows that cherries reduce inflammation, reduce oxidative stress, and lower the risk of developing cardiovascular diseases like heart attacks and strokes. They are a seasonal food, so enjoy cherries when you can, and freeze some if you wish. Just remove the stones before freezing. So, there you have it. Nine red foods for heart health. We had cranberries, cayenne pepper, pomegranate, tomato, raspberries and strawberries, kidney beans, red wine, beetroot, and cherries. What do you think? Do you include all of these in your regular diet? Leave a comment and share it with others in the Heart Disease Code community. And remember to get your two free gifts, the surprising truth about fat and cholesterol, and the first episode of the untold story of heart disease. Just click the link in the description below to get them. And remember to like this video and click on the subscribe button so that you can stay up to date as we release new videos. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you have a happy and heart healthy day.